हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड विद द ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड योर लाइफ इज डूइंग ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट यू द लेप्रोस्कोपिक सीजर्स एज यू नो सीजर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इक्विपमेंट फॉर द सर्जन्स एंड इन लेप्रोस्कोपी देर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सीजर्स द फर्स्ट सीजर विच इज यूज इन लेप्रोस्कोपी इज कर्व सीजर दिस इज द कर्व सीजर यू कैन सी द टिप ऑफ द सीजर इज कर्व and this is very useful tool for laparoscopic surgeons to cut the any tubular structure artery or duct and scissors is used to cut it whenever you perform the surgery so scissors are of different type these scissors curve scissors these double action jaw sharp scissors and which can be used suppose you want to do the uterine artery you coagulate the uterine artery then you will use curve scissors how to hold it again similarly the thumb should be go in the back hole the ring finger should be in the front hole the middle finger should support here little finger should rest there and the index finger is used to rotate the knob and this is the, you can attach the monopolar also here as you know that scissors name itself is very straight forward that it is used to cut but it is not the only job of the scissors scissors are very good uh, blunt dissector the back of the scissors can be used as a spatula suppose you want to do the hernia surgery and you want to separate the peritoneum from transversalis fascia you can use scissors as a good blunt dissector as a spatula it is also used as a cutting instrument like suppose you don't have harmonic and you are a gynecologist you want to do colpotomy at that time the tip of the scissors you can attach the monopolar hair and after attaching the monopolar you can use the tip of the scissors as to cut the colpotomy to the vagina you can do it it is also used for partial nephrectomy a urologist if you want to cut and they want to use scissors it is also used for supra cervical hysterectomy if you want to cut the uterus from the cervix you don't have a monopolar then you can use the scissors you can use the scissors but only remember if you are using the scissors as a electro surgical instrument scissors will become blunt soon so don't use current over the scissors if you are using and taking care of the cost because if you are using the disposable instrument every time there is no harm using the scissors as a electro surgical instrument but if you are using the scissors just for cutting then better not attach the current in the scissors otherwise it will become blunt Now the third scissors which is very useful scissors is called as hook scissors this is hook scissors hook scissors has one big advantage that it cut distal to proximal all the other scissors are cutting proximal to distal but this cut distal to proximal and it first hook so you don't have a problem of engagement the problem of other scissors is that it is difficult to engage suppose you want to hold the proline suture or some other structure which is hard it may slip but hook scissor will not slip because it will first hook with the tissue and then it will cut distal to proximal so this is very useful scissors here also same way you can attach the current here and if you want it can be used for a monopolar instrument here also the thumb should be in the back hole the ring finger should be in the front hole middle finger should support here and index finger is to rotate and this way hook scissors is useful the hook scissors are especially useful to do the cholangiogram if you want to cut the partially you want to cut the cystic duct then hook scissors are very useful because you will catch it and it will cut distal to proximal even if you want to do tubal recanalization and the previously applied the fallop ring or filsi clip if you want to cut then hook scissors is useful now the third scissors is straight scissors A straight scissors are very useful for the purpose where you want a straight line cut like suppose serous layer of myoma or you want to do cbd exploration or if you want to do the specialization in the like uh, this uh, pyeloplasty surgery for puj obstruction then a straight scissors are very useful and only difference is the jaws are straight just like in open surgery also sometimes we like to use a straight scissors sometimes you like to use curve scissors but it is not a must having scissors but of course if you have it 
then you will not get curve margins on the cutting line you will get a straight line like in the cbd exploration if you want to cut and see the layer of mama you want to cut you will get a straight line so that's why many surgeons they like this scissors here also you can attach the monopolar the thumb should be in the black back hole ring finger in the front middle finger support here little finger rest here and index finger is used to rotate it so there is one more scissors which is unfortunately not here that is called as micro scissors micro scissors has a very a small jaw which is used for fibroplasty and to do the a small adhesions of the bowel or cirrhosis of the bowel if it is adhered with the abdominal wall or with the tube or with the uterus then you can use micro scissors very nicely so these are the different type of scissors which is used in laparoscopic surgery thank you very much for watching this video